स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी स्टार्टेड विथ डेरिवेशन ऑफ सैनिट फैनेट फॉर्मूला एंड देन वी डिराइव अ रिजल्ट व्हिच एक्चुअली कनेक्ट्स द टाइम डेरिवेटिव ऑफ और द डेरिवेटिव विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द पैरामीटर ऑफ अ गिवन कर्व आर इज इक्वल्स टू एफ टी विथ विथ कर्वेचर एंड टॉर्शन um so we saw that we really don't have to calculate d and ds dbds and all those things in order to calculate the curvature and torsion we just have to differentiate the given curve with respect to the parameter and uh, um we require derivative at least up to the third order uh, to calculate these things and uh, it, it just makes our life a little bit easier instead of going through all those d and ds and dbds calculation so today we will work out few examples and um we will see if we have some time then we can uh, move on to our next aspect of vector calculus which is uh, application to uh, mechanics but um for the time being let's start with some examples all right so now you might be asked uh, in your exam to prove a uh, few relations so the first one is uh, example so prove the relation kappa is equals to r double dot r dot cross product with r double dot equals to kappa times b cap r triple dot equals to kappa times tau b cap minus kappa times t cap uh, plus kappa dash divided by n cap and uh, r dot uh, cross product with r double dot dot r triple dot equals to um kappa square tau so we will prove these relations so for example if you have a given curve r then uh, we know that this uh, formula is true so we know that in the we saw that in the previous class that this formula is true however um you can actually um calculate uh, d square r by dt square and mod of that d square r by dt square will also give you the curvature all right so let's see how we can do that so the so the first um relation is to prove this one so from senet for a net formula so from seret frenet formula frenet's formula we have uh, first of all we have d t cap equals to dr dt so if we differentiate both sides then it will be it will be um, sorry dt ds so it will be dt ds if i differentiate both sides so dt ds equals to d square r by dt square now dt ds is from seret frenet formula is uh, kappa times n so it is kappa times n equals to d square r by dt square so now if i take um mod on both sides then in that case this will be r double dot which is basically d square r by dt square mod of kappa times n cap so kappa will come out and uh, this will be simply mod of n cap now n is the unit principal normal so its magnitude is 1 and therefore this is our kappa so the first relation is r double dot equals to kappa is proved all right now next relation is r dot cross product with r double dot so let's see what is our uh, r double dot so in the previous relation so in the in the relation 1 we have shown that d square r by dt square equals to what is that kappa times n cap kappa times n cap and we know that dr dt is basically our t and uh, wait 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 um this one we can take uh, so here when we have dot i i just forgot to mention that here dots denote 
differentiation with respect to s right so this one is d square d, d, okay so here differentiation denotes the there is a dot denotes the differentiation with respect to s uh, not with respect to t so earlier the differentiation were with respect to uh, the parameter t but in this case the differentiation is with respect to the uh, arc length s uh, because uh, we can also write um, r is equals to f s as a curve where s is the arc length and uh, then in that case um, these derivatives are basically derivatives with respect to uh, s not with respect to t. So, of course, uh, kappa is basically d square r by uh, d s square. However, in the previous class we saw that uh, kappa is r dot cross product with r double dot. So, here the dots are with respect to t. So, when the equation of the curve is r is equals to f t alright, but uh, in this case these dots are with respect to s. So, that was something um, I, uh, I, uh, I sort of skipped to tell you uh, it is just that uh, these derivatives are with respect to s only alright. Now, uh, we have uh, d r by d s square and d r d s equals to t, t cap alright. So, when I take the cross product which is d r d s cross product with uh, d square r by d s square then this is basically tau cap cross product with kappa times n cap. So, basically we have kappa times uh, tau cap n cap alright and uh, this one can be written as r dot which is of course d r d s cross, cross product with r double dot which is basically d square r by d s square kappa times now t cross n is basically uh, our b cap. So, let me just uh, verify the formula. So, t cross uh, n is basically our b cap. So, I can write b cap here. So, you see uh, r dot cross product with r double dot is basically kappa times b cap and uh, these dots are taken with respect to s only. Now, third relation is r triple dot. So, r triple dot is basically um, we know that uh, uh, we know that uh, d r d s we know that d r d s equals to kappa times n. So, I can differentiate twice. So, this will be d k d s d k d s uh, d r d s is basically t and uh, d square r by d s square is kappa times n. So, d, is d cube r by d s cube is d k d s times n cap plus kappa times d n d s. So, now the kappa times d n d s. So, now this is basically uh, d k d s d k d s times n cap and then kappa times d n d s is from Serret Fernet formula we have uh, minus of kappa t cap plus tau times b cap. So, this is ultimately uh, kappa times tau b minus k times cow, uh, kappa times t plus k dash uh, n cap and uh, if I multiply both numerator and denominator with uh, n cap. So, or we can leave it like that. So, in the formula we do not have to take a division. So, in the formula we can we can leave it like that. So, let us not divide it or anything. So, this is just k dash dot n. So, k dash multiplied with n. So, this is this is what we uh, require to prove in the third relation and uh, the fourth relation is basically and the fourth relation is basically r do, uh, cross product with r double dot r triple dot. So, here all of them are taken with respect to s. So, r dot is t cap r double dot is uh, kappa n and r triple dot is cross product of kappa tau b cap minus k t cap kappa t cap plus kappa dash n cap. So, all you have to do is, um, is calculate this uh, cross product. So, we do the cross product of this and this first and then cross product of this and this and all that. So, and keep in mind that uh, b cross 
b b uh, um, b equals to t cross n or n cross t whatever it is so just use those formulas and whenever you are using them use their proper sign whether you have to use uh, uh, b cross t or whether you have to use t cross b depending on that you will use the minus sign and just substitute those signs here it's just some vector algebra calculation nothing more and when you substitute all those things then it will simplify nicely into something like this um, so here we have uh, excuse me uh, here we have uh, so we are calculating r cross uh, uh, no this one has to be r dot and then here it should be r cross yes so r dot r double dot r 3 yes so we will calculate because otherwise that will be a scalar that will be a vector so it will not be possible so we are calculating basically this thing here and uh, here it should be a dot so here it should be a dot so ultimately when you calculate the whole thing if you calculate the whole thing then it will result into something like uh, t cap uh, kappa square tau uh, t cap plus kappa cube times b cap and uh, this t cap t cap will be uh, 1 so this is ultimately kappa square tau and t dot b is basically 0 because they are mutually perpendicular to one another so the other term is 0 and therefore this is what we needed to prove so we had to prove r dot dot with r double dot r triple dot equals to kappa square tau and this is what we needed to prove so remember in mind that here the dots are taken with respect to the arc length so instead of writing the dots we could have taken we could have taken here a different notation let us say dash so dash 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 and a dash here dash here dash so the dash s basically denotes the differentiation with respect to s so instead of taking the dot we can take dash just to distinguish it that uh, we are not taking the derivative with respect to t instead we are taking derivative with respect to the arc length although it is not something to confuse about since I told you several times um, but um, just for the clarity that uh, in this example in order to calculate kappa and torsion and uh, um, the curvature kappa and the torsion tau we have used um, derivative with respect to s all right. So, this is uh, uh, one another example where you are asked to prove some relations we may, uh, may try to include examples motivated from this and uh, now, uh, let us work out some examples. So, some more examples actually. Mm, so, we will start with um, for the cube for the twisted cube or cubic x equals to 2t y equals to t square and z equals to 1 by 3 t cube. If you are given these then find t n b. So, they are all unit tangent vector, unit principal normal, unit binormal, kappa and tau. at t equals to 1. So, at t equals to 1 our uh, given point can be um, basically 2 1 1 by 3. So, the given equation of the curve is the given curve is r equals to x t i y t j plus z t k right. So, x t is 2 t i t square j plus 1 by 3 t cube k. So, first of all we have to calculate uh, t cap. So, in order to calculate uh, t cap what we will do uh, we will first do the differentiation with respect to t. So, d at d t is uh, 2 i plus 2 t j plus 
t square k and uh, we will calculate uh, uh, d square r by dt square or r dot then this will be 0 i. So, we will not write that 2 j plus 2 t k and then we will calculate uh, uh, d cube r by d t cube equals to 0 0 plus 0. So, we will avoid writing all those zeros and then we will just write uh, 2 k right. So, this is ultimately 0 0 2 the previously it was 0 2 2 and this is 2 2 t t square all right. Now, uh, now at the point t equals to 1 at the point t equals to 1 r is r at t equals to 1 is the point p is basically 2 1 1 by 3 then the derivative is d r d t is 2 uh, 2 1 then d square r by d t square is 0 2 2 and d r cube by d 3 cube d cube r by d 3 cube is 0 0 2 all right. So, from here the unit tangent vector. So, first of all uh, and we can also calculate uh, these factors. So, r 3 dot uh, so r dot cross product with r double dot equals to uh, we will take the cross product of this and this which is fairly easy to calculate. I leave this task up to the student. So, 2 minus 4 4 uh, I have the results calculated in my lecture notes. So, I am just writing it from there and uh, r dot uh, cross product with r double dot dot r triple dot. So, we have r dot cross product with r double dot uh, dot product with r triple dot. So, this is ultimately 8 all right. So, now we have all these three uh, ingredients. Uh, so, what are we going to do? So, now yeah, there is a small error. So, a dot a double dot. So, a dot uh, I think we had a dot a double dot a dot a double dot. Okay. So, this are this is the dot product and then this is the cross product. So, this is the dot product and then this is the cross product. So, dot product and this is the cross product. So, because we cannot uh, so r dot r double dot cross r triple dot yes. So, because um, uh, we cannot uh, we cannot simply uh, r dot uh, cross product with uh, r double dot. So, r dot cross product with r double dot dot product with r triple dot. So, r dot cross product with r double dot dot product with r triple dot. So, ultimately this formula is r dot r double dot cross product with uh, dot, dot product with r triple dot all right. So, we have uh, r dot cross product with r double dot dot product with r triple dot. Yeah, so there was a slight modification in the calculation of tau. So, this we have to keep in mind. Uh, so, there is a slight uh, vector notation um, issue here. So, so, I copied it wrong. So, it is basically r dot cross product with r double dot. So, I had to copy it r dot cross product with r double dot dot product with r triple dot. So, the rest of the things are same. So, here I made a small uh, error while copying the results from the previous slide. So, that can happen too. All right. So, r dot cross product with r double dot dot product with r triple dot. So, this is basically our 8. So, now our unit tangent vector. So, the first thing that we will calculate it calculate is unit tangent vector which is t cap and uh, t cap is nothing but uh, dr dt 
divided by mod of dr dt. So, dr dt is 2 2 1 divided by mod of dr dt is 4 plus 4 plus 1. So, this is ultimately 1 by 3 2 2 1. So, that is the unit tangent vector. Now, uh, that we have the unit tangent vector for the uh, for uh, unit uh, binormal for the binormal uh, we have uh, so for the binormal we use the formula uh, we use the formula kappa so we use the formula for the binormal we use uh, uh, s dot. So, we for the binormal we use um, dbds. Uh, so, we know that binormal is given by uh, this relation here t times uh, n cap. So, t, uh, t is basically the unit tangent vector and uh, n cap is the unit, uh, uh, unit normal. So, unit normal can be uh, can be given uh, by or simply we just have to find a unit normal which is perpendicular or a unit vector that is perpendicular to t. So, a vector that is perpendicular t unit vector that is perpendicular to t is 1 minus 2 and 2. So, I can write simply uh, b as 1 by 3. 1 minus 2 and 2 because then n and b uh, t and b will be perpendicular they are unit uh, vectors and therefore it's a unit binormal and from here i can calculate my n cap so n cap is b cross t and uh, b cross t can be given by 1 by 3 minus 2 1 and 2 so they are all perpendicular to one another so uh, we first calculated t from there we can write our b and based on the b we can calculate our n by just simply calculating b cross t. Um, so, we know our t is this one and we know our b is this one. So, just calculate their cross product 1 by 3 will come up front and uh, then we will have this as the um, as the required uh, unit principal normal. So, we have these two now we can calculate our kappa. So, kappa is basically from this relation. Uh, kappa is from this relation. Let me go back to my lecture note and uh, there I have kappa as r dot cross product with r double dot divided by r dot whole to the power 3. So, what is my r dot? r, r dot cross r double dot. So, 2 minus 4, 4. So, they are mod. So, 2 minus 4, 4 and then r dot cube. So, what is r dot? So, our r dot is at the point t equals to 1, um, r dot is um, where is that 2 2 1 all right. So, let me go back here 2 2 1 whole to the power 3. Uh, so, this will be 4 16 16 and this will be uh, 4 4 1 whole to the power 3. So, ultimately from here we will get 32 plus 4. So, 36 that means 6 and here we will get 3 and 3 to the power 3 is 27. So, this will result into uh, I believe 2 by 9 and uh, tau can be calculated as using this formula from our previous class or from our previous class. So, this formula r dot cross product with r double dot dot product with r triple dot. So, we have a formula as uh, r dot cross product with r double dot dot product with r triple dot uh, and uh, divided by r dot cross product with r double dot all right. So, if I take the dot product with uh, r triple dot, what is our r triple dot? So, r triple dot at t equals to 1 is just 0 0 2. So, if I take the dot product with this here, I will only obtain 8 and uh, uh, in the denominator, I will have uh, uh, mod of 2 minus 4 4 
whole square. So, this will be 8 and this will be uh, square root of 4, 16, 16. So, 6, 6 whole square. So, this will be ultimately 8 by 36. So, I can cancel by 4, so 2 by 9. So, therefore, we have calculated the kappa and tau. So, all you have to do is just use some results uh, what we have studied uh, in Senate Fahrenheit formula, use the appropriate relations uh, to calculate dr dt and uh, do not forget to use uh, the perpendicularity condition or the relation between b, tau and n in half an hour I am sometimes uh, how to say um, making a small errors in the calculation, but I am pretty sure you are getting what I am trying to say. Uh, so, you just have to calculate those uh, dr dt, use the relation between b, t and n and uh, from there if you know one of the vectors you can calculate the other one by simply using the perpendicularity condition and from there you can calculate the third one using that relation that uh, b cap is uh, t cap cross product with n cap and similarly n cap is cross product of b cap and t cap and uh, t cap is uh, cross product of b cap and n cap. So, if you know any one of them the calculating other two would not be difficult and uh, to calculate curvature and torsion you just have to differentiate the curve with respect to t if the given equation is in terms of the parameter t. However, if it is given in terms of arc length then we have also worked out an example where curvature and the derivative of r with respect to arc length is connected. So, it, dep it depends uh, what kind of uh, curve equation is given to you based on that you use the, dif you use the dif respective formula and then you can calculate the curvature and torsion. So, that is what we did in today's class and uh, in the next class we will probably do one or two more examples on Serenet Frenet, Serenet Frenet formula and uh, then we will move on to our next topic. So, I will stop here for today and I look forward to you in your next class.